Corinne Suter of Switzerland is the current leader, but this skier is from Austria, Nicole Schmidhofer, who goes into the wall. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. On the other one. You know, see? You know. You know. Wait. This is a tough looking when they're climbing through the fence. Let's go back one to more what happened look. one more time. Indeed, yeah. And, and so you, you can see she just gets a little stood up and there's a roller that comes up underneath the women's feet as they land. And we'll see here with there we go, Schmidhofer. Just, you know, that was unusual. She'd kind of gotten through the tough spot and just got over the front and gets high sided. Now we'll see the skis. You can see how they would pierce through that slip skirt like that. So it appears that these are our first glimpses of Nicole Schmidhofer since the crash, now being brought down the hill on the sled. And by the way, Steve, I just uh, got an update uh, also hearing from Austrian television that uh, Schmidhofer has called her mother to let her know that uh, nothing too serious. Team doctors continue to have a look at her, but uh, it, it would appear that uh, it looked a whole lot worse maybe than what the ultimate result is. And this is the Italian Federico Brignone, the overall World Cup winner from a year ago. She's been on a downhill podium four different times in her career, but has never won. Pino, how close is she to that top step at this point? The only issue for her is her gliding ability. And it's just, she's one of the slowest gliders uh, on the World Cup and one of the best turners. And she knows herself that if she's going to be close or try to win, on this track, she has got to take excessive risk from here on down. Same scenario today. She's coming off the top with a second deficit. That's a lot to make up, but Brignone loves the fact that the course is more difficult from the midpoint down than it has been in years past. And Brignone hanging in there just over a second back. I mean, you see it, right, that they're gliding. She was just lost a second, and now she's skiing with the best speed skiers in the world. Can she bring back time? Because this is where others had difficulty. Very good through there for Brignone. Oh, no! Oh, and she goes into the fencing. Oh. I, I, there is no way to stand in the start right now and not be scared. Oh, nary a scratch, but what a heavy fall it was. This is two pretty accomplished skiers, both with heavy falls in the same spot. First Nicole Schmidhofer, now Federica Brignone. It, you know, it looked to me like balance, but there you see there's a little roll in there. And that's where Schmidhofer kind of got lunged forward. At those speeds, it can be very difficult to keep them tracking the way you want them to. Here is Joanna Halen, the 28-year-old teammate of current leader Corinne Suter. How many skiers left? can still puncture that top three. How many can really be contenders at this point, do you think, Steve? Again, the, the scenario in Val, oh boy! And, oh, and Halen goes down! Again, what's happening there is you're, you're seeing as they come into sight, the skiers being what's called high-sided. They, they are thrown up into a vertical position and that means that you have to land, get the ski up on edge to get the direction that you need. That, that sequence takes time. So it's, they're technical errors ultimately, but when the window of opportunity to get through a section just seems so narrow. In the women's downhill, over in Valdez Air, Alice McKennis Duran, the American, 
crashing in the same spot where we saw three other women crash earlier in the race. Uh, you know, I don't think there's a, a skier that I know that is still racing that has had as many hard falls as Alice McKennis, who's been so fast in training. And that is Alice McKennis Duran, the American over in Val d'Isere who just crashed in the downhill a few moments ago, but she is up and good sign that she seems to be skiing down on her own power.